to your relief and my own myself uh, let us pile up this uh, heavily exhausting topic of kingdom animalia by a comparative account of various classes of uh, vertebrates now what we have over here is that we have taken a few characteristics few highlighted characteristics and we will see and uh, in the end we have few examples that are mentioned see what we are going to see uh, the classes one is Pisces, Amphibia, Reptilia, Aves and Mammalia that we have discussed and on the terms that we have to remember is first is the habitat where they would be located, their skin if it is having any specific characteristic, whether they are warm blooded or cold blooded, their heart chambers how many they are, how the respiration takes place, what is the mode of reproduction, how they do locomotion and the examples that we have to do. Now, when we talk about Pisces, all of them are aquatic, they could be fresh water or they could be marine, their body is covered with scales and plates, it could be uh, cartilaginous placoid scales or it could be tenoid scales in the case of bony fishes, all of them are cold blooded, the heart is two chambered, the respiration is by gills, most of them are oviparous except for the sharks. There are tails and fins which are present according to which we study their main body plan and the examples are given over here. We are now very well aware of their scientific names as well. We have Rohu, we have Shark, Seahorse, that is quite misleading name but still it is a uh, uh, fish and the Stingray, the poisonous ones. Then we move further to Amphibia that uh, could be present in both land and water. They have smooth skin that is moist skin with mucous glands and they do not have scales, they lack scales. They are cold blooded. Their three chambered heart is present, the respiration is by gills, lung or skin as we studied in the case of frog. Their mode of reproduction is oviparous and the development is indirect by uh, larval stages, tadpole as we study. Locomotion is by limbs because these four are tetrapods, okay. Example is frog, toad, salamander. Reptilia, some are terrestrial, others are aquatic. The skin is waterproof and the scales or scutes are present, they are cold blooded. There are uh, three chambers in heart, that is a com incomplete division is made, that is why we consider them three chambers. But crocodiles have complete four chambered heart, respiration is by lungs, they lay eggs, the locomotion is with limbs, four limbs and those in the case of uh, limbless as in the case of uh, Snakes, they simply crawl, then we have examples of crocodile, snake, turtle and lizard. Moving to the birds, their uh, habitat is terrestrial or whenever they are flying that is aerial. No bird stays in air all the time though. Their body is covered with feathers, they are warm blooded. The heart chambers, number of heart chambers happens to be four. They have lungs for respiration, oviparous that they lay eggs and they have wings for locomotion and two pairs of limbs as well. Example is a pigeon, ostrich, hen, duck, whichever you want to take. Then we have mammalia, they are usually terrestrial except for a few types of whales and dolphins, uh, all are terrestrial which are aquatic as in the case of whales and dolphins I told you. The body is covered with hair, they contain sweat and oil glands. They are warm blooded, chambers of heart would be four, respiration would be with the lungs whether aquatic or terrestrial, they would be viviparous but as we saw that they would be having uh, one case of uh, uh, platypus where they would lay eggs, then the locomotion is with the help of limbs, they could be bipedal as well as in the case of human beings, the examples is human beings, whale, bat and lion and to our relief both you and me, we end this long, long topic.